Hey folks, and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And it shows that I'm recording. Good. Um, Simon, Rita, and Paulette are out transporting and picking up things, and that's good. Though, we're going out there to get all of the branches and and hay and whatnot to bring them back to a an outdoor storage pile. I don't know that it's going to do them any better here than out there, but, um, hmm... I don't know. Maybe we should think about putting some of these inside. Copy you. What was that? No research queued. I'll oh, sorry, we finished metal refinement last time. But let's put you in there and let's put one more uh, copy and put you in there. And then after that's built, there's Carter eating. If I hold the shift down, can I say go to work on that? and not interrupt your eating. Oh, good. Okay. So you'll work on that. Maybe we'll clear this out, but maybe four won't be enough. There's no way to prioritize, right? Not that I have noticed. I can say, don't use it. But that's about it. Hmm. Anyway, metal refinement is done. So that means production? There, a furnace. Let's get a couple of you built. And what time are we? We're 1400. They are idling. Yeah. So build two of those. And I forgot to even notice what that took. Uh, sticks and stones will break my bones. Um, when you guys are all done, let's get Simon. In fact, let's, before we move out of the 14 o'clock hour, go take a walk. Get something to eat. Okay. Someone else can put that away. As soon as you're done eating, what does your overall mood look like? You're not that great. Few fun things to do. Yeah. Hmm. Fun. The shooting target is all that we qualify for until we've got these going, which gives us ores, which gives us alloys, which allows us to make the dartboard or the punching pole which we don't destroy and have to keep rebuilding it. Maybe we want to build these and throw this away. Boy, that's taking a lot of our time. Hmm. I don't know, but Simon, you... What is another way to give you a bonus? If you're doing something that you really enjoy doing, RimWorld was like that. Was that a thing here? That wasn't. Um, how do we deal with that? Simon's skills... There would be one with a, a heart near it in RimWorld. If you get him researching, then he really enjoys it, and he gets a mood bonus when he does it, but that isn't a, an aspect here. We do have, as Cathra had pointed out, where is lighting? No, it's not in lighting. Was it in furniture? Ah, uh, science. Okay, we're, we're going to stumble upon it here somewhere. We've got the shroom lights. Storage, farm, camp. Why is it in camp? A shroom torch. Hmm, I don't know. But we can make, hey, something to use our, with our stone. Now, if I put that there, we can't get to... Well, it's not red. Huh. I was going to say that we can't get to... Oh, we can get it from the other side. Hmm. So if we drop one of these somewhere, can I do it over there too? I cannot. Okay. Where could we... Will it disturb their sleep? There is a sphere of influence. Kind of like the campfire is. So we haven't built the stools yet to see what they do. And I'm going to put something in here, so that's no good. Let's just drop it in here and see if they get all excited when they when they see it. And the reason I'm saying that is that it provides light, but it seems like it also provides provided some happiness, a mood boost of some kind. Let's see how that interacts. We can move it around later. I wasn't even going to bring those in until we had this built. I was going to put one in every bedroom. But right now I'm kind of struggling for ideas. So we're, we've gotten them more varieties of food. And that reminds me. Veggie soup, I forgot to say until. I saw that as I was editing. So we want four until. So there's always four. That way, everyone's got a choice of one of our four different meal types at all times if there's four of everything. 
That's my way of thinking. Uh, meat soup, we need more more meat to make more meat soup. And I don't know that I really want to go do any hunting right now. But did they, with that last trip, bring in... Pause a second. Um, I think everything that was laying out in the fields is pretty much gone now. So I think we've cleaned up our messes. Everything is in and in storage. So, for some reason, in storage does not rot, even though it's outside. Click on these guys, 100 of 100. Except so outside, it was like 85 out of 100. That seems a little bit, well, something they need to correct. Storage should be under a roof. But anyway, um, I pause it because I want Simon... What am I going to do with Simon? How do I make him happier so he doesn't break on me so I can go get him to research out over there? Or does it really matter? He's heading up here because he has enough food variety. He ate at a table and he had a quick meal. That lunch just saved us. Okay, so Simon, come on up over here. I've already... Wow, we have a lot more glitter caps that have, uh, that have uh, blossomed over here. I already went over to the other... Where am I? The other ore over there that was queued up for research and turned it off so we can queue this one for research. So Simon, can you come up here and finish observing this interesting rock? It's a little bit closer this time than the other one. And we have not planted tobacco. <clears throat> Is that an issue? I don't know. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and put some in. Let's do that. Where to, though? Um, first of all, let's grab it in... Smoke Leaf. That's what it's called. It likes this area right here. Okay. Then let's give it from there to there. And extend. We'll give another area like that. All right, some smoke leaf down at the ends there. It likes the lower area that the other ones didn't like. So for some reason, I still haven't figured out what that meant when it said we were losing leaves over there. But maybe in your own garden, it won't. I'm not sure. Carter is scavenging. Carter, I want you to get to work up here. So can you... Missing resources. Can you take some trees out? Uh, if I can get to that tree. Boy, it's hard to do. Right there. And cut that one. And tell you what, while you're at it, why don't you cut that one and also cut that one. Okay. Get those going. That'll probably finish off the day, but it should give us a lot more resources to, to finish this. I want to get some progress done on this. So we've got to add a common room, then we got to get back and... Well, then we got to put the roof on it so we can start using at least this part. And then get the rest of the bedrooms built. And then get that common area built and get the roof on all of it. Yeah, there's, there's stuff to do. And we're running out of day again. So Simon has hit the halfway point in his research. Rita is, did manage to find some more... Uh, something to bring back in. There's a... Oh, that's a pancoth. One of those bigger birds. If we see any more of those, I'll flag some more for research. That one time that I flagged that Pankoff over here to observe it and figured, yeah, they'd never catch up to it. It'll be long gone. That research happened really quick. Boom. You are a Pankoff. So maybe they'll be able to observe the other ones, the much bigger ones, the pterodactyls, insufficient materials. No research queued, but that's fine. Oh, research. We... I was monkeying with that last episode and never went back and put some things in. Like the coffee. There's tea boiling. It wasn't there before. But we also need to get musical instruments in. And I can't let the game run and think. Because I'm trying to figure out what I did with those musical... Well, they were like right here. Did we research them and I don't didn't know it furniture I don't think we did but there's a there's a section that shows you what you've researched right yeah no so how am I not seeing the word musical or instruments in here there you are okay 
We need metal alloys before we can even research it. Okay, that would certainly help out with our happiness issues. Is there anything else that would? <clears throat> are they unhappy when their clothes are worn? But they're not really worn, so that's not a thing. Okay, so what else could we move up into research that will help us out? Now, I see we can get into brick and concrete soon, now that we've got you know, some of the basics out of the way. First aid kits might be smart to get going on. Pickling for just preserving foods for winter. Actually sounds pretty smart. It's only six hours. So let's get that one going. Um, we can finish our tailoring to get hats for the uh, summertime. Assuming the hats do keep us cool like I assumed. Um, so of what is lit up? Bricks while I don't see the need to build brick rooms right off the bat, it might be nice to have a more significant wall. Uh, brick fences, it says down there, uh, in regard to protection from bugs before these bug waves start to get more intense, which be curious to see if this following morning we hear that, that ominous music start up. See if, because it's been a few days since we had a bug attack. It just feels like we're doomed here soon, so it must be on their way. Fuel fermentation, we're not dealing with generators or our, our airship yet, so that's not a thing. Um, insect fats. Uh, large, juicy insects have a lot of fat tissue. And we're probably going to see a much more insect than we're going to see animal. Whereas oil is from grains, I see. Um, they're all 6 and 12 hours. They're quick little things. Any other 6 and 12 hours? Tea boiling. Oh, I wanted to get coffee in there. Tea? Smoke leaf plant might have another use. If we boil the raw leaves to get rid of the toxins, make a refreshing tea beverage. Doesn't say it gives a mood boost, but I'm going to play with that assumption. Let's do that. Let's do you, you, and you. Eh, we'll do you and you. Kick you up a little bit further. In fact, we'll kick you up a little further yet. I want... Hot heat season's coming up. So, teas and then hats. But pickling first. Okay. So, that is the plan there. We are... Rita's planting. Still have insufficient material. So, if we need... We're getting 30 wood out of each tree. Boom. I just heard another boom up there. So we need seven more trees. Yeah. Carter is transporting. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, guy. But uh, we're not accepting logs over here. Yeah. Oh, it was off. Oh, you are filling up these. Okay, you're building something. Hmm, okay. So, if we were to turn all of this off, keep empty, and since I copied this and put this over here, these should have the same settings of everything but wood. Okay. So, with that, let's move these indoors just because it feels better. Simon has reached intellect six. How you doing up there, Simon? That means he's going to finish off that research even faster, doesn't it? He's that much better at it. There we go. Veggie soup. Good. We made our first one. Uh, simple meal made of boiled veggies. So, Simon, mood-wise, he's doing pretty good. So, no, no risk or worry there. And I guess there's no reason to queue up all those extra glitter caps up there. We have all of these about to pop anyway. So let's just let Rita get her jobs done over here. There's already too much for her to do. Uh, Paula is cooking. Rita is eating. We are at 2200, so 10 p.m. Bedtime's in an hour. And Simon did get a meal already, so he's not going to be starving over there. I'm just going to let him finish up. I was about to call him back so we can get some dinner, but... He's fine. Meteorite going in. Pankoth flying over. So what else is on my list? I got coffee. got plant uh, smoke leaf. got the ore researched. And right, good timing. 
This interesting rock holds some metal ore, which could be mined and smelted into alloys. Mine ore from ore, ore deposits. All right, so let's set up some mining tasks and I guess distract Carter for a little bit. He ate it. <laughs> he used it all up researching it. Oh, man. The rest of it's way over there. Okay. Let's queue up this whole patch. There we go. That's not it. Ore deposits. Mine. And these are stones over here. Yeah. So there's those. We never did find any more that were reasonably close. Did we look over here? These look like they're all stones. A little further over. No, now we're getting quite a ways away. That's all stone. That's a long ways away over there. Although I do see some. Or do I? That? Nope, that's all stone. Okay, so let's look the other direction on this one. We may have to get into some serious spaceship scavenging and get a whole bunch of uh, scrap metal so we can melt that into into uh, alloys. Yeah, I don't see any more ore out here. The other one we saw was way up over there. Okay, it was like, um, I think it was right over there. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss any. We're on this side. Don't see any. I'm hearing some squeaks over here. I must have some critters up here. Yeah, who is that? Is that you? Oh, they've taken something down. Nope, never mind. I thought those were the uh, big chickens walking around. So what is making the... The squeaky chirping noises. It's coming out of these woods. It's probably just a noise associated with the woods. Alright, let's check this area over here. And otherwise, I think we're just going to give up on ores. What time is it? Two in the morning? About right over here. No. These are all rocks. So the ones that we saw before, I think we're right up over here, and we've already gone quite a ways to get here. Uh, well, I didn't think it was that far. Is it right up here? No. Well, that's the woods from our place, all through here. Okay, well, ore looks like it's kind of out of reach for us. Wherever it was that I saw it, it's too far away. Okay. Alright. Scrap metal it is. Uh, one meat soup is about to rot away. Okay. So if it lasts till morning, I will have the hungriest person get up and eat it. Carter is eating a fruit. He's, he's getting a 12 happiness is what he's eating. I Better not uh, dissuade him from doing that. Of those who are left. And he's going to sleep. Oh, four in the morning. He's exhausted. What did I do to him? He, he was out there chopping the whole time? No, he wasn't. He was building things. But, um... Nah, he's drowsy. That's all. He's fine. Rest. But of the rest of them, uh, I guess... I guess let's watch this, see how they interact with it, if they do. I'm looking for fullness, that's what it is. So, Paulette's good, and Rita is good, and Simon could use something. His happiness is tanking hard right now, so yeah, I'd rather throw away the meat soup than take the pumpkin pie away from him and lose that extra plus six. That's the way i got to look at it, got to do the math. So, we're just going to lose our first meal. What am I seeing over here? Why are these highlighted? I don't know. I didn't click on them. 
Oh, I see. They're all highlighted when they're ready to harvest. So they are a task that needs to be accomplished. And apparently furnaces have a much higher priority in the game than the fermentation barrels. Because these are up and running. Okay. So that is probably a handle task. That makes sense. So that's probably in here, which means it's Paulette. So she will be taking care of that. Let's see. Rita is planting. Um, Rita's got a permanent mood boost. Let's make her eat the meat pie, which is where? Will it tell us? It's in here somewhere. Okay. So Rita, why don't you eat that? And meat soup. Here. You get that one out of the way. You won't eat it, need to eat again the rest of the day. And Simon's going to get to researching, which makes him happy. Or, well, theoretically. He doesn't get credit for it, though. And that takes care of that issue. She gets a meal. She doesn't need the plus 12. And everybody's happy. She's going to go plant. Then I need to probably force her to do some harvesting. Because she's going to be stuck on transporting. We'll see. These have been sitting here for a long time waiting to be harvested. Um, Carter's sleeping. Oh, that's what I was about to do. Furnaces. So let's figure out how this works. Let's smelt or smelt scrap metal. Okay, 10 scrap metal gives us 10 alloys. Well, that's nice as one for one. Okay. Well, in that case, give me... Oh, let's get two working in each one. Scrap metal, two. That gives us four total, but it'll all happen in the time span of two. And then set you to pop the other one to refuel is on. And we already have 10 fuel in there. Okay, so Paulette is handling right now. She's going to go handle a furnace. So great. That gives us that, which opens up a lot of new things for us once we have our first piece of alloy in stock. Which means we can put up a dartboard. Where do we set our dartboard? Right at the end of the storage alley here. That sounds good. So she is loading it up. And she's already taken her first alloys out of there. 20 of them. Well, that was a fast process. I didn't even see the plumes of smoke. Let's back here and watch it. We got her we're loaded up with firewood. Got to see what this is too. So I'll do this while you're watching that. Fermentation barrel. What do we want to ferment? Antibiotics. How is that done? By using 50 grain. You lit that one. Going to get some more sheet metal or scrap metal probably. Yeah. How much grain do we have in stock to be able to do something like this? Is that up here? That is. There's only 80 grain left. Hmm. So that pretty much finishes off our porridge. We need more grain. We'll do it one time. Get one round of antibiotics in place. Otherwise, we need to get this harvested. So, Rita, you are needed. And Rita, you have that positive nine all the time. I'm almost tempted to unfortunately punish you for that. That's what it's going to seem like, but um, you don't need to have as much of a break as the others because you're more naturally happy. I know that seems mean, but let's switch one of these to an anything. No, no, no. Just on Rita. Okay, put that back. Carter needs it. Rita, right here. You can do anything, which means you can go back to work if you want to. Let's do that. Yeah. We research pickling. Okay. So let's see what is involved there. Is that done on the stove? Kind of don't think so. Um, our supplies for what we're making. Okay. Uh, tasty recipes... Quick recipes, pickling. So let's read about pickling. Where is that done? One can preserve vegetables by putting them in a large barrel of brine. Ah, and aerobic fermentation takes care of the rest. 
So fermentation barrel. Pickled vegetables equals 50 reserves of that. Okay, so you are going to be pickled vegetables. And we're about to do a lot of harvesting. Let's... Every hunter gives you 50. Let's just do that twice until I get a better sense of what's really in storage right now. Pickled vegetables. We have a lot of buttermelon. Can I tell it not to do it with glitter caps? I can. Let's keep the glitter caps. And we'll go that route. Pumpkins are up there, but they're all over the map. And they need to be harvested. Are we pretty much done with planting? We are. Let's transition Rita into a harvester. So what does that take? Rita is here. What are these symbols? Copy and paste. Oh, and reset back to th all threes. Okay. So she has been doing ones, and then she'll do deliver forever. So let's take her off a of delivery. She'll shift into twos, which would be to handle. Hmm. No matter what I do. So we're just going to have to move harvest back to one. Okay. Uh, we scavenged some wood. or some. Okay, Carter, we're taking you... We're appreciating a, a shroom torch. All right. Yahoo! So Simon is appreciating a shroom torch. And he appreciated a decoration plus 18. Stressed out minus 9. Let's get our, our woohoos in, in and, and we'll get a plus 18 out of it. Okay, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> now we're going to come over here and destroy this for a while. Now, pause. 92%. He didn't shoot enough last time for our one and only battle to take down 8% of that rifle. There's no way. He maybe got five shots off. I'll bet you the target practicing is wearing out the rifles. And that's the last thing I want to do. Is there a way to say no? I'm going to deconstruct those and we're going to... We're going to let the shrooms take the place. But I think I'm going to say no to that. I'm, I don't want to face the battles when they start getting significant. Just as all of our, our uh, rifles wear out. So let's not do that. And I want to take Carter down from defaulting to uh, scavenging. I need the building done. Which means I need the cutting done. So... Carter, there you are. Cutting, if I take you down to a one on research pick of scavenge, okay. If I take you, or something over there is chirping. If I take you to a one in cutting, you'll start cutting trees. And then you'll have the ability to start constructing again. Okay. What was that? We researched tea boiling. Okay. Tea boiling should be here hot drinks. There they are. Okay, let's always have four of those in stock. Make smoke leaf tea. You can only make them in fives. Okay, that's fine. Get that going. We need smoke leaf though. Did we ever get those done? They are only 22% dry. Okay, we can't make our pipes until we've done that. But we do have lots of ores now. So it means we could pause so that Carter doesn't walk any further. Uh, furniture? <clears throat> Dart board. Right there. Unless there's a better place. On the back wall, we are constructing here, but this might work out. Let's do that. One in, and that's the height. Alright, Carter, can you... You were going to go build a something. Can you immediately come and construct this dart board? And you're going to do it with the wood you just destroyed... Or got by tearing these apart. Okay, get the dartboard going. And there is a second source of entertainment. Uh, furniture. Punching bag needs leathers, which requires some hunting. Although there are different kinds of leathers. I'm seeing brown and purple. And I'm suspecting that these have something to do with it, but 
I don't know when we're going to finally get around to researching that. Though, hmm, we kind of need to get these going. Boy, there's so much that's got to get done. Tomorrow, we'll let Simon go and go out in the field and do some field research. But right now, he's just having too much fun. Uh, he's getting the tailoring going. Okay. Um. So, Carter, let's watch this get done, and then we'll figure out our next plan. I see that um, Rita has done some harvesting. That's good. Okay, no, he's still bringing more supplies. What's this thing take? It takes fabric, it takes metal alloys, and it takes wood. So he's off to get some fabric now. Pull up a little bit. What is that? I'm so bored there's nothing fun to do. Well, why don't you build a dartboard and we'll get that one uh, taken care of. Well, it took longer than I thought. I thought I was going to just do a tap-tap and be finished. All right, who gets to dartboard first? Carter, play darts. Show us how it's done. And I wonder if they can play together or if we need multiple dartboards. That's pretty close, Carter. Uh, yeah, you can come back over here and pull that off, right? Okay. All right, so we've seen it done. Did that immediately give him any bonus? No, he probably has to do that for a while. But let's go ahead and reset you. Go ahead and do what you need. There you go. Constructing a chair. Ooh. Now, can I get Paulette to sit? What does this mean? She can use either side. Okay. And that was sit and relax, right? Sit to relax. Okay. So, Paulette, go ahead and do what you want to do, but the chairs work. Good. So that's all built. Carter is now constructing a floor. Oh, you're grabbing logs from over here to go all the way back up there. Okay. Um, actually, this last little bit of night, why don't you instead take that tree down? And that didn't work. Carter, take that tree down. And that should finish up right about bedtime. And you'll have more building materials in stock to go and do something more than just build one floor section up there. All right, so Paulette is restocking all the, the torches. We've got ores now. Where does that show up? Right there. We are almost out of stone. It's dark. Oh, Carter's mood. Was that the noise? There's a lot of creepy noise going on. Creepy music. Or just a creepy song just happened to start up. We'll see. Rita is harvesting the last of these. Because she's on harvest mode now. And she's transporting them. Good. And we now have... Oh, we have made our first antibiotics. So, advanced medicine harvested from bacterial and fungi growths. Fungi? Fungi growths. Say, we've got that done. Um, did it say that we had made pickled vegetables yet foods uh, this one not yet so this one hundred of a hundred oh there's a progress bar right down there okay and we're still 30 percent okay we're done with these we need ore And we need stone. Okay. Um, Carter delivered the wood. He's holding his head. He's stressed out. He's having issues. Paulette is handling a torch up there. Where is Simon? Oh, it's not Simon. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. Oh, he's already asleep. Okay. So Rita's bringing that back, and she's going to call it a day. Everybody's going to be pretty much calling it done for the day. So, what is there for us to do? We'll get one more day into this episode. A lot of frogs and cricket sounds out here. And chirpings. Nightbirds. 
see if there's any more ore over by these rocks. What a rock formation over here. Now we got this arch with its wind sound built into it. But boy, I don't see any more ore. Hmm. I don't know, it just seems like the numbers are off a bit. There should have been more of it for this quantity of rocks. Seems like we got we got cheated a little bit. Uh well, we went to the Seed Noble Rambler. Maybe I should have said Noble Rambles a lot. Maybe that would have given us more ore. <laughs> well, Paulette is eating porridge. And we now have a lot more grain. The grain was to give us more antibiotics. Let's do two more of those. It's another 100 gone. Um, can we replant? Did we get the sense of a planting season plant is on but we turned her planting off to get her to harvest let's go ahead and turn that back on well what well, no we didn't turn it off we activities we turned the other one on which is in front of it so I have to make that a two to get her to jump over to this we'll do that and get these planted to see if we can get another round in there before the uh, season's over. These are ready to harvest too. So we want to get these two planted again. And what else? I guess get then get around to harvesting everything that's within reach before anything... I don't know if they r run out or not. It seems like there were a lot more pumpkins here at one time. Uh, of course, the wild animals will probably eat them too, won't they? Yeah. Hmm... Well, we'll see. Got things out here we'll probably never get around to observing. What are you? You're a sleeping dragonfly until we come up with a better name for you. These, I gotta find out what those are too. Early access feedback. I did that like two episodes ago. Are you gonna keep uh, plaguing me with that? Anyway, waiting for these guys to get up. Simon went to bed early, so he's up early. Well, it's 7 in the morning, and wake-up time is 4 a.m. These guys must have really been tuckered out. Let's, um... <laughs> Sorry, guys, but let's get you guys up and starting your day. Come on, sleepyheads. It's 7 a.m. We're on farmer's hours. Sunrise to sunset. So, I wonder if they get a negative if I disturb their sleep. What, did that count as a disturbed sleep? Uh, we got tailoring going. Uh, low mood, risk of meltdown if the situation worsens. What situation? I, I guess because we're between here and... I don't know. <laughs> Paulette. You're fine. So, did not count. My, my disturbing them like that didn't count against us. Okay. Carter, you, you're you going to be fine. You're, you're forecasted to get up there real soon. And where did Carter go, by the way? He's already up there constructing the floor. You get these things built and go and grab yourself a good meal and you'll be, you'll be in great shape. We get to one in the afternoon, you'll be walking around and playing darts or something. But, uh, yeah, this this place is going to look good when we finally get to it. Trying to get it done. Is that the last of the floor? Almost. Okay, so when you're done, go ahead and construct this one. Floors. I said two of them. Huh. Oh, because the other one wasn't complete when I was clicking on that. Okay. So throw that into a few walls, and if you can handle it, you're still a risk of meltdown, but you're you're going up. Let's get you working on this next. What were you going to do? You're going to oh, I hit the wrong thing, but let's you're gonna go grab some wood from somewhere else. Carter. 
Come on over here and cut the fallen tree. And then cut that broadleaf tree times two. Don't run across the map to get logs when they're already here. So Rita, you are planting. Thank you. We'll get that done. Then I'll switch you back to harvesting. And let's get... Unless these guys will rot. And I don't know that they are. There is a red bar up here, average health. I don't know what that means, but... But I'm thinking about getting you out into the field and harvesting further away and get those before they're all gone. Yeah, that makes sense. Pumpkins. And maybe even some more smoke leaf. And then when we... We probably need to have some significant storage ready to go when the final fall harvest comes in and all these fields get emptied all at once. Yeah... By then, hopefully, we're in the house and ready for, hmm, ready for winter. But we might kind of need the house long before winter. I mean, it's going to get hot here in the summer. I might need a cool place to rest before they get, uh, now we're harvesting naturally. Okay. Um, a place to cool off when, on the hottest days, especially if we hit some kind of a, of a heat wave that comes through. You are going to harvest those. Actually, let's get you, um, let's get you out over here and harvest these things. So, orders, harvest, is just those two and that one. These used to all be orange. So they must have cycled out here naturally as different from in a field somehow and rotted away and then replanted themselves and are growing again. What do you think? Let's harvest these guys and then come over and harvest these guys. And if I can be around at that time, I'll have you go from one to the other and pick them up. If that's a thing. I'm not sure. If, she, if I put them both in a string... Well, you know, hit shift and say pick up and pick up if she'll walk from one to the other or will she deposit it then come all the way back and get it. I have to see just how intelligent that is. Research tailoring. So the inevitable decay of our spaceship uniforms requires us to sketch up some crude shirt, jacket, pant, boots, and hat blueprints. They could be crafted from uh, various textiles or leathers. I'm watching the grass changing color. From purple to white while I'm reading that. Interesting. Uh, leathers, dedicated tailor bench. Okay. Now you're harvesting. I'm going to stay long enough for you to do this. Then I'm going to direct you to bring everything back. And this guy is just going to sit there and watch her. Interesting. Oh, a little too close. You got your knife out. Spooked him. So grab these, pick them up, hopefully. Will you remember that you left the other ones over there? Mm. Whoa. Insufficient storage space. Oh. Well, so much for seeing what was going to happen automatically. Darn. So until I build some more, let's just turn... Um... Let's go ahead and turn this group on for food, since it's the closest to the kitchen. And that'll just have to have to do until we go and build something else. So she is transporting, once I clicked that, okay. And can I tell you to... I can't. Oh, Rita. There we go. So can you haul... Now, what happens here? You drop them. Now, haul that one. And... Haul and haul. Can we put... Nope, we can't do it. It's just, it's just too, it's too much. Okay. So, Paulette, when you are done, come over and haul these. Thank you. That way Rita can get back to harvesting over in this area. Okay. Simon, after you are done, let's get you out in the field and research something. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out there and uh, 
do some field work. Which means what? Simon's playing darts. Okay, nice. But these or more berries. Let's get some more food in our diet. So Simon, when you're done, come over here and observe a berry plant. Okay. What is that? That is Paulette. Okay, I had the wrong one selected. So Simon, when you're done, observe a berry plant. Okay, that's more like it. So Paulette is transporting. We are in 1500 now, so break is over. And Simon is completely ignoring my request. So come on over here once more and observe a berry plant. <laughs> you coming? You're coming. Carter's constructing walls, which means he probably went and raided the last of the wood. No, nope, there's still some in there. So, can I get you to... Hmm. Be nice if he would just stock all of the wood bring everything over that he can and then let's get those set for cut and then he can construct it all at once get all of these set for cut what are you double click there we go and any more around here I see some more right there get those set for cut and there's one right there no a lot of shadows in there Nope, no fallen logs. Aggressive animals, 13. Where are they? Ah. Now, I had sent Simon out that way. And Paulette is done carrying, too. So you guys are going over here to eat all of our pumpkins. Ah, we'll let you. We'll let them get closer. We'll just keep everybody in a, a more of a centralized area. So, let's observe something. I kind of want to know. So, Simon's gun is at 91 now. It was at 92 after he was practicing and he didn't shoot it anymore. So, do these things just naturally decay? Interesting. Rita's, uh, 91. Paulette, 91. Carter, 91. That's a lot of coincidences there. Hmm. Rita just, just reached farming 7. Nice. So she is clearing out all of these. And hopefully either Rita or Paulette will come and collect them. So we need a new place to store things. Let's pop in another shed. Just for a double shed. For storage. Let's think about that. I hate to keep expanding our temporary base, but we do need more storage. Maybe right in here. So, again, keeping an eye on Simon. They were out here? They're up there. So Simon can definitely get back in time. Okay. And though we don't want to be doing this in the dark. Okay. Let's pop a shed in just to remind myself that I want to pop a shed in. Just put you there. I won't build it yet. Let's draft everybody. And get everyone out over here. We can't aim very well in the dark, so we need to get this thing going. Three of them. Why three? That's four. One, two, three. Who's not moving? Paulette? is no she's moving hmm anyway guys come on out here and yeah that's everybody let's take care of these guys while we can still aim and paulette let's send you well now you stay right here with us they're going to be hitting more long range ravenously hungry and you can be shooting anything that gets close to them that they've missed and protect us so anybody that tries to flank us you're going to keep us going so you three move in a little bit further just like that Paulette you come on up over here let's get this done 
a little bit further yet. Actually, um, Rita, why don't you go in and come in a little bit closer and draw them out to us. Yeah, take out this guy. Missed, and here comes half of them. Boom. Okay, uh, whoa. Rita, let's move you off to the side and out of Carter's line of fire. Okay, Paulette, you come in a little bit closer. And you're going to catch anything that they can't. Yeah, a little bit closer yet. Alright, there you go. No, a little bit closer yet. Opportunity for distillation. What does that mean? You know... I used to make the strongest moonshine back at home. Carter, now is not the time. <laughs> How I miss those times. Getting my basement raided by the coppers and such. Ah. Anywho, I reckon we have the materials to make a distillery here. And we most certainly have enough grain. Let's get cracking, huh? So... Is that what, what that's saying is it's a free research. We don't have to research distillation. It's going to give it to us for free. Okay. Okay. So, no choice. But, okay. We'll take it. Thank you. Now, can we, can we concentrate here? All right. So, you three move in a little bit closer, like here. And, Paulette, you head over here. All right, so they can aggro a few more. <clears throat> and Paulette can protect them if they miss. Two left. One of them is attacking. Not anymore. And there's still two more somewhere. Paulette, you didn't get a chance to shoot anything. So why don't you go in there and hunt down that one. And I think the other one's out over there. Um, Simon, go have a ball. And... Paula should just about reach it right there. So you take out that one, and you missed, and somebody saved your butt. Who was that? Probably Rita. Yeah. Okay, well, we're good. So what is that? Shift. What was the quick... Uh, I click on Paulette. Undraft is like that, but I thought there was another way to do it. I'll have to look it up. It's probably in the key bindings. Risk of meltdown for Carter. So everyone is heading back home. He's constructing a shelter. What does Carter need? Carter needs food. So Carter, come on out and get a pumpkin pie. Whoa. Oh. Whenever I swing around like that, I sometimes click into my second monitor and messes things up. Carter, come on over here and eat a buttermelon pie. That will help you out tremendously. Everybody else can do what they need to do, and I am 50-some minutes into this, so I guess this is my cue to call this one done, but I do want storage. Let's pause a second so I don't have to get interrupted by anything else. I can just think. So, more storage. There's a way I have seen to play with these shelters to interact with each other. Um... All we really need is a roof. But I kind of like to... I was thinking I could put them back to back. What does that look like? If I were to... I won't put it here, but I see the grass is already destroyed there, so I can experiment and not mess things up. But if I were to put you like that... Yeah, if I can sneak down, it lets it takes away the back wall and creates a big open shelter. So we can get a lot more storage in there is what I'm getting out which means we could almost do that over these except the fires and everything yeah that won't work hmm but we could put something like that or a bunch of storage shelves in there but I want it close enough to be near the kitchen interesting if this wasn't there and the light wasn't there I could take that back wall away and put more storage in here and have it connected to the kitchen. Let's move you to here. And let's move you. Can I put you on this wall anywhere? Or... I probably cannot, but let's try it. 
Uh, stick shelter. No, no, no. Specifically... Oh, that's a tiny little spot. Um, move you. I cannot put you in there. Can I put you on the end of this post? No. Well, temporarily I can just put you right there. And that will kind of shine through. Okay. So let's get Paulette, who is... Let me zoom out. Paulette is handling the fermentation barrel by bringing these things in. Rita, what are you doing? Rita. There you are. You're planting. Planting what? Oh, we've taken down some things. Rita wants you to do these. So Rita, let's have you move the dartboard. And let's have you zoom in here. Right there. Move the wooden torch. Then we could probably accomplish a bunch of storage with only building one of these. So let's cancel you. And we'll see this before we end the episode. At least that's my assumption. Maybe once it's already built, it's too late to uh, to make that sort of thing happen. Maybe they both, both have to be blueprints. I don't know. <clears throat> but we'll soon find out. Move that torch over, and it'll give some light over here by the table. Though I thought we had one. Well, I guess not. Okay, pause there, and let's see what happens when I throw one of these in backwards. Oh, it does make the wall disappear. Okay, it's more of a walkthrough now. Can we do that? Right there. That gives us a walkthrough, and it gives us more storage. So, storage, shelves, put you right in here. Let me get in where I can see what I'm doing. And design-wise, it's... Oh, I can't see that. It's that way. So, if you went from there to there, and then copy, copy... Actually, take you away. Cancel. I'll take all of you away. Cancel. Copy this one. That way it'll be the same um, set of instructions. So copy you, put you in from here to here, and hold the shift down this time, and do the same thing there. From that point, hmm, let's do two of them. It gives us room to put a torch over there and light this area up. Oh, it's only too deep when you do that, that's right. So it is just two of them. Then let's take just you away. We'll put a torch back in there so that it's it's not a dark area when uh, Paulette's trying to cook at night. And let's go ahead and get another torch copied and dropped into there. Okay, so risk of meltdown Paulette. Tailoring, distilling, distilling, distillation. Paulette, what is with you right now? You are unhappy, crushingly unhappy. <sighs> um, where are you? There's too much information here. Let's get you playing darts. And we'll just end the episode with that. Everybody else is decent. He's a low mood, but not, not crushingly depressed. Yeah. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pause this drama for the night. And, and uh, I'll catch all of you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.